this is the third time making this video the enemy is so pissed but christ revealed christ glorified i thank you holy spirit for enabling me and empowering me to put this video out to put this to put this fast out i put a wall of fire around this video in the mighty name of jesus it will not be hijacked in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen so what happened was i made the same video twice and it just disappeared and i'm on a time crunch but god can redeem time and that's why i love the holy spirit he's redeemed time before okay here's the here's the video okay we're gonna be fasting for 12 hours for three days okay if you're not able to fast for 12 hours in those three days choose to fast for eight hours or choose to fast for nine hours or choose to fast for six hours right so the fast is from 6 in the morning 6 a.m until 6 p.m if you're not able to do 6 a.m to 6 p.m then you can do 6 a.m until 3 p.m or 6 a.m until 12 noon okay those who have been fasting with me for some time you're able to do 6 a.m until 6 p.m amen thank you holy spirit i love you so much you're great okay now the fasting this week is particularly is, is specifically concerning how to approach worship it's you learning how to approach worship and the silence in the presence of god because i actually got this question how do you stay silent in god's presence how do you access that place where you're silent and you are like how do you practice that that is the focal point of this fast okay so the psalm 95 is going to give us a breakdown of what to do but i'm going to tell you the breakdown really fast before i even get into it we have giving thanks and praise those who give you access to the king the book of isaiah chapter 33 verse 22 says that glory the lord god is our king our lawgiver and our judge he will save us right but what gives you access to the king is thanksgiving and it is praise not complaints and not murmuring okay thanksgiving praise you get access to the king it's a key to access the king of kings and the lord of lords then there is um worship worship is like a posture an attitude it's when i recommend for worship that you go as low as possible onto the ground meaning if you're sitting on your bed praying or singing then when it gets to worship lay on the ground prostrate and worship or kneel down and worship or bow down and worship right worship requires our bodies to move okay and the third the fourth is going to be silence in his presence okay let me give you that uh, sequence backed by the bible all right not my opinion the word of god supersedes all opinions okay so psalm 95 says this oh come let us sing unto the lord let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms so praise thanksgiving give you the access to the king to his presence but why do we praise him why do we thank him verse three and four tell us that as well as verse five for the lord is a great god and a great king above all gods in his hand are the deep places of the earth the strength of the hills is also his the sea is his and he made it and in his hands formed with his hands his hands formed the dry land that you and i walk on okay so verse three to five tell us why we worship god there's a reason we worship god we were created to worship but the earth itself like just him being a maker is enough to be like wow let us praise you let us thank you let us worship you now verse six tells you how to worship oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the lord our maker right you thanked him you praised him and you knew why you praise them then you bow down or you kneel down or you let you lay down prostrate and you worshiped and you worshiped amen verse 7 for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand today if you hear his voice 
harden not your heart as in a provocation and as in a day of temptation in the wilderness okay so the the another scripture i'm going to add to psalm 95 is a scripture that says be still and know that i am god i'll be exalted among the heathen i'll be exalted in all the earth and that's another scripture i want you guys to focus on so what we're going to do is depending on when you want to do this but i recommend you do this at least once a day within the three days meaning a, com a total accumulation of 30 minutes of silence within your fast so day one if you want to do um giving thanks praise worship then silence thanks praise worship then silence after you worship God, while you are laying or you are kneeling or you're bowing in that posture, in that attitude, be quiet. Stop speaking. Stop for 10 minutes minimum. Just be still. Be still and know that I am God. I'll be exalted among the heathen. I'll be exalted in all the earth. So you're going to thank God, praise him, worship and then be still in his presence in the midst of worship and right after worship is when it's clearest to hear God it's when it becomes clear to hear the voice of God but you have to be silent you have to be quiet amen I've often told you to learn about the art of silence but I've not taught you practically how to do it this is the sequence you thank God you praise God, you worship, and that's a posture and attitude change. And then you are silent. you just quiet. You can have an instrumental going, or you could just have complete silence. And if you get any thoughts in your mind that do not, do not, um, that are not lovely, admirable, um, praiseworthy, take those thoughts captive and bring them under Christ Jesus for example I take this thought captive and bring it under Christ Jesus if it's about oh you should probably call your ex now no no, no. you're in silence before God's presence I take this thought captive and bring it under Christ Jesus then you continue when you say that it disappears it dissipates that's how that works okay God bless you and empower you on this fast and yeah three days 12 hours each day and you guys can do it amen god bless you bye